Rick Costello, Director of Athletics and the host for your show. We've got a great show ahead featuring student athletes and coaches from our women's volleyball program and men's soccer team. Joining me in our opening segment is Coach Sean Douglas. How are you, Coach? Great. A little uh, nice brisk morning out there, a little chillier than California. I'll take it. Hometown was 105, so I'm happy to be out in Midwest. <laughs> All right. Awesome. All right. So our opening segment is called Inside the Pride. So let's go Inside the Pride and see what's going on with PNW Athletics. Uh, PNW Athletics is students first, athletes second, uh, and just another great academic semester for the Pride in spring of 2022, a 3.34 GPA overall, that is our fifth straight semester over a 3.0. Our sixth year in a row, Coach, over a 3.0. The, the kids are doing great work in the, in the classroom. I think uh, PNW really promotes great uh, athletics, and because of that, the student athletes are usually high academic achievers, and those are the kind of players we're trying to coach. And uh, we just got to give a shout out. Uh, there's the infographic on the screen. We got to give a shout out to our faculty for creating a great learning environment at Purdue Northwest. Uh, yours truly had a busy summer. We have some new teammates, Coach, for you on the coaches' hallway. Carl Trozin joins us from Grand Valley to coach our ice hockey uh, program. Great to steal somebody from Grand Valley. Always. Anybody we can steal in conference, we're down. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, and uh, also, uh, uh, Tommy Whitaker is now our head coach for track and field. Tommy was promoted, and he has done an amazing job. Our new track and field program, he has 75 new recruits, new students coming to Purdue Northwest. Also joining us for women's tennis and men's tennis, Roscoe Munion. I hired Roscoe from Union College in Kentucky. And finally, our last staff addition is Joey Scott joining us from Defiance College. He's going to be assistant athletic director for communications. And we can't wait for Joey to get here and take over our website and all our social media. Uh, this weekend, we've got a big weekend on tap for the Pride. Uh, volleyball heads to Owensboro, Kentucky. Yes. Uh, after a huge trip to Boston, we're really excited to see the, uh, the Midwest of the country now. All right. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, women's soccer plays Drury tomorrow at Dowling Park at uh, 1 o'clock. Men's soccer hit, hits the road to go to Finley, Ohio to take on the Oilers. Uh, men's golf is up at Grand Valley to play the Lakers. And then cross country is at the Early Bird Invite. Uh, to do a little running at Lewis University. Uh, and then a couple big events coming up for PNW Athletics. The Chancellor's Golf Outing is September 26th at beautiful Sand Creek Country Club. That's a scholarship fundraiser for the Pride. Come on out and help us uh, raise some dollars for scholarships for student athletes. Uh, maybe you want to play in the event. Maybe you want to be a whole sponsor, a sponsor, provide a raffle prize. Uh, Coach, you're going to hit them long and far that day, right? Long and far, usually not straight. All right. yeah. <laughs> At least you're consistent, <laughs> right? right? <laughs> Uh, and then finally, uh, the Fall Sports Festival is Saturday, October 1st. I like to say the fabulous Fall Sports Festival. Uh, all kinds of family fun uh, presented by Laborers Local 41. A big thanks to Scott Sparks for their presenting sponsorship. Uh, all kinds of things going on. Cheer and dance will be there. Leo the Lion, get your free t-shirts. All kinds of great food and music. Uh, come on out to the Fall Sports Festival, VIP tent, all kinds of uh, great action. And watch our soccer teams, women's and men's soccer team in action, baseball and softball in action. Uh, both our ice hockey teams right next door at the Cuba in action. And of course, our tennis programs are playing at the Fall Sports Festival. So we hope to see you Saturday, October 1st, uh, 12 to 4. Go to pnwathletics.com to purchase your tickets. And, uh, hey, if you'd like to be a corporate champion, give me a call. Rick Costello at 219-989-2540. We have all kinds of corporate champions. I want to thank Purdue Federal Credit Union, Laborers Local 41, Pepsi, Rush Physical Therapy. They take, a great, uh, they take great care of our student athletes. Uh, MJ Polish Deli right here in Hammond, one of our newest corporate champions. Marcus Allard Truck Rentals, uh, the Kitchell Group at Morgan Stanley. Dairy Bell, also one of our newest corporate champions right here in Hammond. Domino's, Byway Brewing Company, Bridges Scoreboard, Fairfield Inn, Largus Graphics, Hampton Inn and Holiday Inn, Kyle Dempsey State Farm right down the road from the Strack Van Til Studios here at Jed TV, Crazy Kaplan, Corellis Roofing, 
NWI 24-7 ER and Hospital. Big thanks to Kevin Frazier. Nipsco, thanks to Rick Kalinske. Montesol, McDonald's, Hudamaki, Langles Pizza, People's Bank, North Point Orthopedics. A big uh, shout-out to our team docs, Dr. Kinesic and Dr. Perez. Uh, Strack Van Til, Station 21, and South Shore CVA. And they've got a new leader in uh, uh, David Uran. So uh, best of luck to David as he runs the show at South Shore. Uh, all right, let's. Uh, we took care of a little business. Uh, little let's focus on volleyball. We have two student athletes joining us here today: Bree Moonen, a senior from Franklin, Wisconsin, and Lauren Schmidt, a senior from New Albany, Indiana. Welcome, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so senior season, you guys got to just be pumped up. You're coming off the Boston trip. Lauren, how was the Boston trip? It was great. It was really great. We got to explore a little bit and also. Um, play a lot of really great teams while we were there. So, All right. Bree, what would you think of Fenway Park and the Green Monster? Yeah, I loved it. I like watching baseball anyway, so it was just kind of like a different atmosphere and it was different than like what I've always seen because I've been, always been in the Midwest kind of. so. Hanging out with those Milwaukee Brewers, right? Yeah, always. <laughs> Coach, how was the trip? It was uh, probably a great team bonding, building type of thing. I think with uh, 12 new returners, it was really important for us to get on the road, kind of see how people act in a, in a a relaxed atmosphere you know it, traveling can be uh, stressful a little bit new new environment new stuff but it's nice to just kind of get away from the school so they can spend some time together and I think it really paid off I was really happy with how the team meshed how they communicated how they competed I was really happy with it so you were up at Bentley uh, University and took on a whole bunch of NCAA tournament teams for last year we did three out of the four teams we played uh, qualified for the NCAAs last year and we walked away two and two and I'm really happy with that so, Bree, Coach just mentioned 12 new teammates. Yeah. That's uh, got to be exciting. Yeah, I feel like, obviously, we all have different personalities, but with all those different personalities, they've been meshing really well, so it's been, like, a great start, and just, like, everybody's willing to, like, meet, you know, each other and wanting to be friends and just getting along, which is, like, a great, like, first start for us, I think. Oh, that's great. Uh, so, Lauren, tell us how you got started in the sport of volleyball. I got started in the sport of volleyball because my mom – kind of really pushed me to go to volleyball camp in third grade. <laughs> she had to really convince me just to go. Get out and of the house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was like, just try it. And I'm glad she did because here we are. So, Yeah. What do you love so much about volleyball? Um, one thing that I just really love is that we get to communicate all the time and talk to each other on the court and work together to try to um, get the other team like off their game. So it's really fun to kind of strategize in that way. Bray, how did you get started in volleyball? Um, so my parents actually do play volleyball. My dad was, still is, uh, very big into volleyball. And so when I was four years old, every single time he would come off of playing sand volleyball with his friends, I would always be like, Dad, you want to bump with me? And so I just kind of like looked at it, looked as, at him as like my role model. So I kind of did that aspect. So, so that's volleyball lingo. You want to bump with me? Uh, we usually don't say that, but, you know, Bree likes to use a lot of different words like buggy and other things we call strips. So, you know, it might be a little bit different from Wisconsin. Because I need that volleyball one-on-one course with the subs and all the point scoring. We, and we can make that happen. Some lingo maybe, yes. too. Yes. Yeah, I'll give you a little help. We'll all be right. Fine. Uh, what do you love so much? You spend so much time around volleyball. What do you love so much about the um, sport? I would probably have to say the intensity of how the games are. I love it. It puts me in a better mood. I'm just, like, driven for that intensity. So I get just really, like, focused in on that. So I love that. I've always have. So Excellent. All right, we're going to do our rapid-fire section. A lot of fun here. Okay, Lauren Schmidt, you're up to bat first. Uh, what's your favorite food? My favorite food has to be pizza. Okay, favorite kind of ice cream? Um, probably cookies and cream. What are you watching on Netflix? Stranger Things. Ooh, that is interesting, isn't it? Mm-hmm. It's <laughs> the <great>. alternate universe. <laughs> uh -huh. Coach, you get into that kind of stuff. Right? Uh, sometimes when I'm coaching my team, I look like it looks like an alternate universe. <laughs> so we try to get back to the uh, right side up, not the upside down world. So yes. <laughs> and finally, where are you at, Lauren, on social media? Um, I love TikTok. All right. Mm -hmm. You gonna do a little TikTok for us today? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Bree, favorite food? Sushi or er, sushi or steak? One okay. of the two. How about a little sushi on the steak? Hmm. Never tried that one. But <laughs> it's spicy. It's kind of either one or the other. Uh, ice cream. Moose tracks. All right. Uh, where are you? What are you watching on Netflix? The one hundred. Oh, like that one. It's like my one. fifth time watching it, but like I'll keep on watching it over and over. Like again. that one. And social media. 
Probably TikTok too. Okay. Not really. I, I mean, don't you think a, a little team TikTok here? We get the rest of the ladies over. As long as it's the team, that's fine. Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> We've talked about it. You just yeah. gotta do it. All right. Now we're gonna put you guys on the spot. He's been hanging around with us for about six months. Let's see how well you know him. Okay. okay. All right. This is a contest. All right. So you each get a shot here. Mm. What is his favorite food, Bree? Sushi or oh yeah, sushi. I would have to say sushi. All right, Lauren. What's his favorite food? Mm. Pizza. And the, the answer is? They're both correct. Both <laughs> correct. Yeah, there we go. Everything. <laughs> if I can cycle through sushi, pizza, and steak, I'm going to be a happy That's guy. Right? I like just cycle through those. All three. right. Yes. We got a one-one tie yes. here. <laughs> favorite, his favorite ice cream, Brie? Chocolate chip. Um, maybe mint. I like anything with peanut butter. Oh. So I would say it's specific, but if I got peanut butter chunks in there, I'm going to be a happy guy. Mm. All right. So uh, next question. Where is he at? What's he watching on Netflix, Bree? Jeez. I swear we've talked about this even at camp. I have zero clue. I don't know either. <laughs> and we've talked about like some TV shows I like we've like all watched and right. everything, uh -huh. but like obviously it's not current, so mm -hmm. I was gonna say. Well, I really I love Stranger Things. One of my favorite mm -hmm. things, and my daughter loves it. So we all watch it as a mm -hmm. family, which is great. Um, I just finished Severance on Apple TV. Mm. It is fantastic. All right, that's a really deep kind of psychological like alternate reality thing. So we're back to alternate reality. Ted Lasso versus. wasn't up to speed for you. So uh, no, I just that's what I watched recently. I really do enjoy Ted Lasso, especially okay. when he flips and goes to Led Tasso and he gets angry. <laughs> that's kind of, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, we need to break this tie here. Where is Coach on social media, Bree? Instagram. Twitter. Coach doesn't use social media. Oh, all right. We end up in a tie. Yeah. Okay. How about that? Yes. I like to uh, keep my head clean from the, the junk that floats out there. There we go. Uh, okay. So both of your senior year, Bree, so uh, forensic science, uh, where is that going to take you? Um, I've always looked for like DNA analysis or forensic science. I thought that was the main thing, but I did an internship this summer. So it's either that or crime scene investigator that I kind of want to go for right now. Um, obviously I just need to pick which one, but I have time, so it's fine. So the blood doesn't freak you out or any of oh, that no. kind of gory stuff? <laughs> no. All right. I kind of like it. <laughs> it's like different, you know. Lauren, elementary ed major. Uh, you're going to be student teaching in the spring. Uh, what's, uh, what's the goals for your career? Um, probably just to, I'm thinking about teaching like maybe kindergarten or first grade and just, yeah, really focusing on that, trying to make my classroom a good place to be. You like little ones, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, they're fun. Uh, Coach, uh, give us a preview of the season. We got a tournament in. We're going to one. Yep. Uh, what's it look like this year? Uh, we've got this. We're going to Kentucky Owensboro. There's a Kentucky Wesleyan is hosting a tournament down there, so we're going to play uh, four teams out there. And I think this is a kind of our final tune-up before conference starts in uh, two Fridays at Westville's campus. All right. Uh, so uh, you mentioned earlier uh, twelve additions to the roster. Yes. So you're carrying a roster of nineteen. A uh, lot of energy. The IUN exhibition, the yes. fitness and rec center was packed. The atmosphere was electric. Uh, it's going to be an exciting year. Yeah, I was really excited that they promoted the battle for the region. It was something kind of different. I know IUN really got into it, so I thought that made it really fun. Uh, our fan support was fantastic. Um, big shout out to men's soccer and men's hockey for being there and giving us a little home court advantage over there on the side. But I think uh, just the more we can practice, the more we see each other. And I think for us, too, with 12 newbies, I think that – we're just going to keep getting better, and I think that's really exciting. That was an electric atmosphere against IUM, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. It was, it was insane. insane. Literally, because I was, like, telling them that I don't think we've had that many fans, like, in – like this, like in the stands since like probably like my freshman year when I think we had fall festival yep. back then and it was just like insane. I was like, oh my gosh, like this is so different, but it's like a good different, mm -hmm. and it was good for us. I think just to kind of get that reassurance from um, how things used to be. So awesome. All right. Well, I told you it would go fast, ladies. So thanks so much for being with us here today. I wish you a great senior season. Uh, Coach, good luck down Thank in you. Owensboro, Kentucky. And uh, we will move to our next segment. And after the commercial break, our men's soccer student athletes will be with us. Good luck. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.
All right, welcome back to PNW Athletics today. I am Rick Costello, Director of Athletics and the host for the show. I am pleased to be joined with uh, by two student athletes from our men's soccer team. We got Harry Hooper here. How are you doing, Harry? Good, thanks, Rick. All right, and good morning, Ish. Good morning, happy to be here. All right, Ish Contreras, uh, both uh, young men are seniors, uh, uh, having their senior season just started. Uh, do we have Coach Hayes on the line? Certainly do. How are you, Rick? All right. Good morning, Ryan. How are you? No, not too bad, thank you. Not All, too bad. All right. Well, thanks for uh, calling in, uh, Coach. Uh, you're in your uh, eighth season here leading the Pride, uh, 2018 GLIAC Coach of the Year. Uh, and, uh, boy, the squad had a brilliant season last year, making it to the semifinals. Uh, you've been to the GLIAC tournament four out of the last five years. What do you expect this season, Coach? I expect the team to uh, put their best foot forward and uh, always constant improvement. I think um, we're, we're we're lining up really well for that at the moment. We're uh, fine tuning ourselves and we're taking one step at a time, but we're going in the right direction, which is really great to see. All right, excellent. Uh, so, Ish, uh, your business analytics uh, major from Joliet, uh, Illinois. Uh, you're anchoring the two of you guys. Anchor the defense. Uh, we've really uh, had uh, great defensive performances to start the year. Uh, co-captain, uh, and uh, also want to talk to you about uh, your uh, the vice president for the national sack. What what are you up to as far as representing over 123,000 student athletes? Sure. So right now we're actually getting ready to um, distribute the legislation grids. So we're going to be passing those out here soon in September, hoping to collect them in October. And the national sack will have a meeting in November to review the votes. And then um, coming up here in January, we'll have national convention. And after accumulating all the votes, we'll make a vote on behalf of all the student athletes on all the legislation that's going to be passed this year. All right. Uh, very busy. Harry, uh, also a defenseman, uh, uh, and uh, you're going into your senior year here. you got to be so excited. Uh, second team all GLIAC last year. Uh, how's it feel to be going into the senior year season? Oh, excited because um, – We've been building for the past four years, so it's just exciting every year coming back and being able to see like where we're going to go. And pretty excited. We've got some strong recruits this year as well, and some good returners. And so, pretty excited to see where the season takes us. Okay, so you're from Suncoast, Australia. It sounds like a gorgeous place. Tell us about Suncoast. Um, the Sunshine Coast is pretty good. Um, uh, lots of beaches, warm weather, just warm climate all year round. Like when I go back for. For the summer, it's actually winter, but we still have 75 degree days okay. and that. So it's pretty good, pretty grateful to have grown up there and live there. Coach Hayes, you ever been to Sun Coast? Yeah, Sunshine Coast is fantastic. In fact, Terry sounded like he's a salesman for the uh, Sunshine Coast. I don't know whether he's the pay it as an NIL to, uh, to uh, <laughs> the Sunshine Coast in Australia or not. But uh, yeah, no, it's a beautiful part of the world. <laughs> Well, guys, uh, I want you to recap. We've got a few games under our belt. We've got uh, two ties. Uh, we got a uh, defeat to Lewis. Uh, why don't you give us a recap on where we're at? Yeah, so I think at the minute, um, you know, Harry mentioned some of the newcomers. We're integrating them. They're starting to perform better every single game. I think that first game was a little bit of a hiccup, you know, some, some kind of silly things that, you know, may be expected so early in the season. I think we got them out the way, though. Just the, you know, the performance is getting better every game and um, right now we're just missing uh, you know the the end product putting some goals in the back of the net but I think once they start coming they're not going to stop and, and we're going to be trouble so yeah. as a captain how do you how do you jump in there and lead the team when uh, you guys uh, you know maybe you know I, I'm a basketball player so you either won or lost there wasn't any of this tie stuff how do you how do you lead a team through a tie I mean, it, it just comes down to, like, we're producing the opportunities and, like, so it's about just keeping our heads up and keeping yep. persevering throughout the game. And honestly, like, we're not going to stop producing chances. So, like, if we keep on pushing forward and keep our heads up and keep on working and giving 100%, like, we're going to be able to put them away. So as long as we can keep the team pushing forward and keep on working hard throughout a game and the push for the full 90 minutes, um, you, can, you can only hope to get a result in the end and yep. get a win. Yes, absolutely. So let's go back to your, your guys' uh, beginning. Ish, how did you get started in soccer? Yeah, so I think I started when I was about six or seven years old. My dad was a huge fan. I uh, played soccer his pretty much whole entire life. Just started playing rec ball, town ball, and then uh, went from there. Okay, and your brother's uh, also on the team. 
Yes, my brother's also on the team. He started similarly. We started at the same time, so he was a, a year younger than me at the time. And pretty much all my brothers have started at the same time. So. Who's the best player in the family? You uh, or Sebastian? No. Oh, between us two? <laughs> uh, I'll give Sebastian the nod. Yeah. Really? Yeah, he's wow. Super, that guy is just naturally talented. Harry, you never see an older brother give the younger brother props like <laughs> no, that. Yeah. Do you? He's too humble. Yes, yes. How'd you get started? It's like religion in Australia, right? Um, almost. Um, my dad played rugby, so he wanted me to play rugby, but okay. mum was too scared for me to do that. <laughs> so um, I got into soccer and my older brother played as well. So when I was too young to play, I'd be on the sidelines and mum and dad would look a look away or watch the game or something and then right. look back and where's Harry and I was running on the field <laughs> trying to chase the ball. All so. right, all right. Yeah. So uh, rugby's in the family. Have you ever played rugby? I have throughout uh, elementary school. Okay, so how's the physicality compare to soccer? Because when I watch you guys play, I mean, it's a physical game. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's compared to over here, like the physicality is quite strong over here. Um, but with rugby, it's just... Big grown men clattering into each other for 80 <laughs> minutes straight, you know, it's it's pretty no different. No pads, no nothing, right? No, nah, no, nah, it's just straight raw contact. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Holy cow. <laughs> That'll do something to your good looks if you play that a lot. Right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and not with a few broken cheekbones and cauliflower ears. Yes, mm. exactly, exactly. So, uh, Coach, did you ever play any rugby? No, I did not play rugby, mate. Uh, stay, stayed away from that sport. Um, fun to watch, but, uh, yeah, definitely not going to get involved in that. Also worried about your good looks there, huh? <laughs> yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, so, Ish, uh, been here at PNW for a while. What's the best thing about Purdue Northwest? Yeah, I think for me, um, I think it's very, because it's more of a commuter campus, I think you get to see a lot of the same people all the time. So you built a, a, a sense of community. I think the same thing with my professors. I've had a lot of the same professors throughout my, my four years, so you get to know them, and, and it's, it's a lot easier to kind of foster relationships, and you feel good about going to class or, or being on campus. Business analytics major, where are you going to take that? You talked to me about some coaching. Yeah, that's a, that's a good question. As far as, like, my actual field of study, I'm not 100% sure yet. Exploring a couple different things at the minute. Um, but, yeah, at the minute I'm coaching, and, and I'm enjoying it. Um, I just recently took my under-9s to a tournament last weekend. It was our first tournament, played in the top bracket, and we won. So that was a nice experience. Um, might have got me hooked, so we'll see how it goes. All right. Uh, Harry, a biology major, uh, what's the future hold for you? I uh, hope to go to med school after graduating Okay, um, back in Australia. So, yeah. All right. Uh, any ideas on what you're going to specialize in? Uh, not yet. Um, kind of always liked the idea of being a GP or um, sticking something with keeps me like in touch with sport, so like potentially a team doctor or something. But as I go through the four years of med school, if I decide to specialize, if I really mm -hmm. like something, I guess I'll go down that route. I think you should uh, be a professional uh, cheerleader because the energy <laughs> enthusiasm that you lead in the fitness and rec center for basketball games, women's volleyball games, has been absolutely incredible. Yeah, it's, it's good fun to come down. And I think um, Eli and I with the buckets as we get them going and the hockey guys have started getting into it too. So get a bit rowdy and really brings like a home home ground advantage i think you guys had it rocking and rolling the other night the <laughs> hockey and soccer combo was unbeatable so uh all right so uh we uh, take on the oilers of finley this uh saturday what should we expect uh hopefully three points all right mm. I like that, I like that. yeah game. i think i'm i'm expecting a couple goals on on, on the weekend so all right. That's what you should expect, a couple goals. Yeah. So I know you've got a couple goals last year, I think, if I read the stats <laughs> correctly. So we get some more from the defense. Uh, we get some goals from the defense. Yeah, that would be all right if I could get my head onto a couple set pieces. Yeah. Yeah, do my job. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I, I back this guy against anybody. So I mean, he could have scored the other day. We, we yeah. gave him some. We gave him some stick about it already, so uh, hopefully next time he's ready to put it away. Learn from him. I, I heard what he just said. Get my head set on a couple pieces. Is that what on he said? On a couple set pieces, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Ryan, can you break that down for me? Yeah, so what he's referring to there is uh, <clears throat> he's hoping to time his run and uh, read the ball correctly from a service from either a corner or a free kick to be able to put it in the back of the net. I thought that's what you said. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was right there. Coach, give us uh, the scouting report on the GLIAC this year. I'm sure it's Parkside and Davenport. We're always uh, battling with those uh, dudes. Yeah, throw Saginaw's name into the mix as well. The three of them are going to be uh, up there competing with us. So that's, um, you know, we can look at other teams, but other teams should be looking at us because we're going to be really hard to beat this year. So I'm really looking forward to it, and it's going to be a great season. How much would you guys love to knock off 
Well, I know this is being streamed on the World Wide Web, but anyway, how much would you love to knock off the Rangers of Parkside? Oh, <laughs> I haven't done it in my four years yet, so oh. it would be bloody brilliant. Yeah, I think, I think I've been them once, and it was at home. Um, and it's just, especially last year, we played them three times. It was a one-goal game all three times. You know, we were in it. And so, you know, yeah, well, that's one we've uh, circled on the calendar. We'll mm -hmm. put it that way. All right. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, well, I appreciate you guys being on the show. I wish you nothing but the best of luck. It was exciting to watch you guys play yesterday. I can't wait to see what the season holds. I think uh, we're all going to have a lot of smiles on our faces come November. So uh, I wish you injury-free, best of luck uh, as we move forward. Well, that wraps up. Uh, Coach, thanks for being with us uh, via the telephone. You're welcome. Thanks for having us, Rick. Cheers. All right. Well, that wraps up this edition of uh, PNW Athletics today. Please stop by our fall festival. See these guys play on uh, Saturday, October 1st. Uh, we also have the Chancellor's Golf Outing, a big scholarship fundraiser coming up on September 26th at uh, Sand Creek Country Club. Go to pnwathletics.com to find all that info. Come on back for our show at the end of the month where we are going to do a special show on the 50th anniversary of Title IX. Thanks again for joining us today, and go Pride! <laughs>